Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Getting to Know. Today we're getting to know the B10X electric skateboard by Adam. So let's check it out. So basically the first thing I want to talk about is the wheels. All right, you notice I've been going off-road here, doing a little bit of dirt action. So that's the most noticeable thing about, about this board. It's really kind of like a specialty. That's probably why you're going to buy it. Um, so just to talk about that a little bit, the wheels, they just look like, okay, it's a big wheel, but there's obviously a lot more to it. So the three things to really cover on the wheels, the first thing is just the diameter. So it's 100 millimeters. Um, you know, most longboard wheels you're looking at, you know, say 70 to, on a lot of electric skateboards, maybe up to 80, 83. So bigger than most, um, definitely bigger than most longboard wheels, bigger than most electric longboard skateboard wheels. Um, so what that does is just obviously the bigger the wheel, the more bumps you're going to get over in general. So that's kind of one critical thing to note. The next one, which is probably even more important though, is the material of the wheel. So we use um, and this is one of those things that you can't actually see by looking at it. Um, and that's kind of the point of this video is to, to explain to you guys the PU formula, the polyurethane, is just absolutely critical. We use a very, very high rebound, so super high rebound material that's really, really durable. And what that means is it actually gets it to where the wheels, um, they have a really low rolling resistance. So even though you see a lot of tread there, the fact that they have a rebound means that they kind of get over all those little bumps without slowing down and they just spin like crazy. So that's one thing. It looks like it might, you know, be kind of a slow type of thing, but actually these wheels just fly, especially once you get them up to speed. They just, they bomb over everything. So that material is really critical. Um, the other part of the material is actually the durometer, so the hardness. We use a 78A. So that's pretty, pretty standard, actually, probably in the longboard world. It's a lot softer than what you see in like a typical skateboard wheel. Um, it just means a little more of a cushy ride, especially when you're going over a little bit of kind of gravel and rough road like that. So those are kind of the three, the three things there. Oh, sorry, that's two. <laughs> the last thing is just the tread itself. So the tread, it's not a super aggressive tread, but it just gives you that little bit of traction that you need when you're kind of coming around corners and stuff like that that you wouldn't get out of a standard um, you know, longboard wheel with a flat surface. The other thing is, is when you're actually on your drive wheel, it does actually give you a little bit of traction. Not a ton, you know, you'll still slide out a little bit, but it, it does give you a little bit more than what you would with a flat wheel. So wheels, you know, we sell these actually on our normal non-electric skateboards. Huge fan, love them, but on an electric, they just take it to the next level. So I'll show you kind of how it works. Okay, what else is there to talk about? Well, kind of going on from the wheels, let's talk about the wheels being a nice kind of soft durometer. The other thing that really kind of helps is the fact that the deck itself is a nice bamboo, pretty flexible. So a lot of, um, a lot of what you're feeling is you're feeling those wheels really suck up the bumps, but you're also feeling the deck really suck up those bumps. So you can see there's some nice flex to that, and that makes a huge difference um, when you're riding on rougher terrain, even even if you're not going off-road, I'm just talking about you know pavement that's a little bit rough, um, footpath sidewalks that have cracks in them. It makes a huge difference having that nice flex in the deck. So it rides a lot like a normal longboard uh, would, just nice, super flexy, very very cruisy ride. So even if you're getting this, even if you're not thinking, hey, I want to go like ride a ton of dirt. Even if you're just cruising around town, you know, on bumpy roads, you don't want to worry about kind of hitting a rock and going flying off. This thing is just perfect for that. Let's do some more. Obviously having a ton of fun on this thing. Fantastic. So the next thing to kind of talk about would just be the electrical side of things. So how much you know range and the power 
you know, torque, all that type of stuff. So, you know, the best thing to do is probably watch our uh, getting to know the B10 electric skateboard video. You can link on that up here because the electronics behind the whole thing are exactly the same. Samsung 25R batteries, um, relatively the same torque. We do uh, change out the, uh, the actual wheel pulley on this one to get it to match. The torque and everything basically is the same as the B10. So a lot of good info on there in terms of the range that you're going to get out of it, the hill climbing ability. But in short, it's all just great. It's perfect. It's not like, you know, a, a real you know, what you're going to get out of like a, a, a big battery board to where you're in a massive hill climbing. But for, you know, 99% of the stuff that people actually do riding around in town, it handles the hills great. It's got a good range. You're not going to be out riding all day long, eight hours a day, but you can do, you know, a, a decent range on this thing. So, um, yeah, check out that video. That covers most of the things, but in general, it, it gets the job done. to the dirt here without a problem. Hitting some of that splashy, getting, see if it can handle this loose stuff. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. So fun. So as you can see on the bridge, those bumps are pretty hefty in general. It's not like little cracks, but if you look, I'm seeing a lot of daylight through there. So standard longboard, obviously skateboard, no chance, standard longboard. No chance, but this thing, it goes over, you, you can hear the chatter, it's, it's, it's taking abuse, but, but it goes over pretty good. The one thing that I'd say, in terms of terrain that it will go over, um, I've covered most of that, but terrain that it won't go over, it's not going to go, it blasts through little bits of loose sand, but if you're in really loose sand, not going to do it, so you know, you got to manage your expectations there. It's not going to do long grass. You can, same thing, you can hit grass, no problem, but if you're in a big flat field and it's long grass, not going to happen. You're going to end up, you know, stripping your belt before you end up moving. So that's not a possibility. Um, you know, so the things that you need more like a mountain board wheel, it doesn't kind of go in that area. But as long as you manage your expectations and you're hitting dirt paths, hard pack stuff, you know, cracks in the road, it just, it just kills. But just to kind of summarize what we got here, you can see we've gotten a, a little bit wet. That's actually okay in terms of splash resistance. It's not actually, you know, full IP. 67 water resistance so if i were to dip this in the water that would be a big problem don't ride in the rain because water can kind of get down through the screw holes and stuff like that so it's not like full waterproof but in terms of like splashing in and out and getting the little stuff up on that that's generally not a problem okay you just got to make sure water's not actually getting into the battery box um, but just summarizing absolutely fantastic great board it's perfect for just cruising around town because rarely in any town is the pavement perfect and this you know you just don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about hitting rocks hitting cracks it's a nice cruisy ride it's at a great price point um, like I said you're not getting the you know the power that you're gonna get on a on a two thousand dollar board you know but it's great for the for the general stuff that most people are riding 99 percent of the time is gonna get you around town and just you're gonna have a blast so uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because um, then that way if you have your notifications on, make sure you do that. You're going to make sure that you stay in tune with all the new Getting to Know series in addition to our tech talks and tons of great information coming out from Adam. Uh, and of course, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Adam Longboards. And apart from that, we'll see you next time.